Strawberry plants are unique because not only do they propagate by producing seeds, they also create extensions of themselves called runners. These runners are like tentacles that feel and scout out new terrain to expand to. Sometimes they'll have clusters of leaves on the tip, and this is actually the beginning of a new plant. Outdoors, you don't even need to bury them. You just have to place them on top of moist soil, and when the runners land on it, they'll start growing roots to anchor themselves in place, eventually growing a whole new plant. This plant will be genetically identical to the mother, so it'll produce the same exact quality berries. These clones will eventually grow to be full mother plants and produce their own runners, continuing the cycle with this cultivar. In this video, we'll be cloning plants in three different mediums indoors, and timestamps for each are listed in the description. These are the actual clones that I have in my Meta Grow project, which is my attempt to discover the best method of growing delicious strawberries. For Hydro, we'll be starting in these blue solo cups. Hydro is a medium that requires cleanliness, so before we start, make sure you sterilize everything. I scorched and rinsed the hydroton in hot water and drenched all of it in hydrogen peroxide overnight before use. Then I filled up the solo cup around halfway and prepared some feed water to add. For the exact recipe on the feed water, check the description. I added this feed water to the cup until it was level with the hydrogen. Now I have two different types of runners, one that doesn't have roots and one that already rooted that I dug up. Warning, for the best success, always keep these runners connected to the mother while they're rooting. For the runner that has roots, I'm gonna aggressively rinse this in water with some hydrogen peroxide. For both of these runners, you wanna make sure that you're burying only the base of the crown. Every stem that's coming out of this crown should be exposed to direct air. So for strawberry terms, you could see, this is the crown. You don't want it to be submerged past this part right here. Just point this down and fill this up with hydrogen up to here. You're simply using the hydrogen to anchor the crown in place. If you have roots, you can sprawl them out and place the hydrogen above. Once it's secure, top it off with more feed water, but again, never go above the base of that crown. Since these clones are connected to the mother, I'm placing them right next to the pot, and now it's just a waiting game. Take the rest of that feed water, store it in a cool, dark place, and in five days, you're gonna replenish that water back to where it was mixed with some hydrogen peroxide. In 10 days, the roots should have established and you could gently tug on a leaf to feel the resistance. And once there's enough, you can cut the connecting stem from the mother and transfer these plants to their final buckets. A video on that is linked on the top right. Now for cocoa and soil, the process is pretty much the same. For both of these mediums, you have to understand that too much water will suffocate your plants. In order to prevent your plants from overwatering, we're gonna poke holes on the bottom of these solo cups. Then I'm gonna put about a quarter inch of perlite on the bottom. This is gonna allow all the excess moisture in the cups to drain out. For cocoa, I'm using a three to one ratio of cocoa coir and perlite. I'm gonna fill up the cup almost to the top and using the same nutrient solution listed in the description, I'm gonna flood and drain this cup twice. I'll double check the runoff to make sure it's anywhere between 5.8 and 6.2. And once that's done, I'm gonna take one of the runners and the easiest thing to do is to bury the whole entire crown and use a syringe to kind of water gun all that excess off the top, exposing the crown to direct air. For soil, it's pretty much the same as Coco Coir. This is pre-moistened soil. You could watch a video on that linked on the top right. Holes on the bottom of the cup, about a half an inch of perlite. Fill the cup up, 
you don't have to rinse the roots because it's coming from soil. Bury the crown and then shoot all the excess debris with water to expose the crown above. That's it. 10 days. Just make sure you keep an eye on the moisture level. You could use something like a scale if you're in doubt. Keep them all connected to the mother. They'll root themselves and you'll be ready for transfer. If you want to see how these plants developed, check out the Meta Grow Project. If you value this content, smash that like, hit that bell. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below.